stopping knowing it's still small voice. Nikki, can you hear me? Come on, get out of my own way. Pick up that mustard seed of faith. <laughs> Procrastinating my way to the top. <laughs> Girl, you silly. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to Procrastinating My Way to the Top. My name is Nicole Whalen, for those of you that are new to the channel. And today's episode is going to be more of a story time. Um, this past summer, I wanted to get some new tires. This is because of the type of car that I have. The, the tires were just the tires. Or actually, one tire was like $800. So... Uh, we went from 800 to 400 to 300 to, but it was still like super duper duper duper, you know, like crazy prices. And I didn't want to go too low because then I feel like I'm getting a crap tire. You know what I mean? So, you, my sister, she tells me about her ex-boyfriend and how he buys tires from blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to check the scene and see if I can find some tires. Let's try Amazon. I trust them. I know them. I shop with Amazon all the time. So sure enough, I found a company. Uh, they're called Simply Tire, and I found uh, some high-end, you know, performance, perfect tires for like, I think it was like 65 bucks or something or whatever um, per tire. And I was like, oh my God, this is good. So as I'm going through the checkout, I noticed that they offer installation where you can find a store. So I'm like, oh, this is what Danielle was talking about, okay? So I go ahead and I follow the steps and I found a company called... And I'm like, okay, I'll go ahead and book my session or the appointment with this company. Let's see. They get the order from Amazon. Uh, the tires are shipped from Amazon directly to the tire company or to the, you know, install place. And what they'll do is they'll send me an email and a text message giving me three options for a particular date for installation. So I'm like, okay, okay. So I'll go ahead and place the order. About a day later, I get the email and the text message, so I choose the time. You're supposed to pick, actually, I think, two times, and they, they pick one of them and let you know which one works the best. So I chose the date, and I chose my options that work for me. And then, sure enough, I got confirmation email saying, okay, um, this company has agreed to install your tires on this date at this time. So I'm like, yes, cool. So, um, fast forward, I arrive. <laughs> at this uh, tire place probably like 20 minutes early or whatever just because I didn't want to be there all day I walk in there's a few people in the lobby or you know waiting to be serviced and it's a black guy with dreads behind the uh, the counter so I'm like good morning my name is you know Nicole I'm here to get my tires installed blah 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 I had an appointment with Amazon and I have my phone in my hand and I'm trying to um, I was like I have my order number right here if you want to see so he is the computer screen. Uh uh, I don't I don't have you in my system. So I'm like, what? Mm -mm, I don't have you in my system. So I'm like, oh okay. Um, well I have my order number right here, and I keep you know I keep bringing up the order number, and he's just like not trying to hear me, saying that you know Amazon messes up all the time, and this is something that always happens, and I need to talk to Amazon because they never communicated with him. So I'm just like just shocked or whatever right so i'm like okay so he's just kind of rushing me out of the door so quickly you know and i'm just like kind of going for it i'm like oh oh okay well let me let me call amazon so before i walk out the door and i was like well so you did what about my tires did you get my tires and he's like i don't have no tires we ain't got no tires no, 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 no. so i was like just confused because i've gotten all these notifications from amazon telling me that they spoke with this company so i go to the car and i um I'm checking this and checking that or whatever, and I'm looking through emails and notifications and stuff, and then I see that my tires were delivered uh, three days, three days ago, you know, like from the day that I was there. So I'm like, what? And they were signed by someone by the initials of C. Wilson. So I'm like, oh my God. Okay. So I go back in. I'm like, hey, excuse me. Attitude. Um, I'm still being cool at this point. I'm just like, um, I just, you know, like right here, I see that the tires were actually delivered and signed for via FedEx on Tuesday, let's say Tuesday, on Tuesday at 1048. 
He's like, FedEx. I mean, I thought you said it was an Amazon order. Why would Amazon use FedEx? <laughs> then this white lady, she's in the lobby. She chimes in like, Karen, that is kind of weird. And I'm like, Karen, can you, can you, can you, can you not chime in if you're gonna be on his side? Like, can you? So, and he's like, Yeah, that's. Mm -mm. There's nobody. C. Wilson. C. Wilson. Mm. There's nobody by their name here. And it's only me and one other manager that work here. And, you know, he's not here right now. And, and I didn't sign for nothing. And he didn't sign for nothing. You know, just whatever. So I'm still, still confused. And just like, what in the world? Like, because I think I was supposed to be going out of town the next day or something. So I was, you know, kind of freaking out because I'm like, I, how am I going to drive to Chicago? And my tires aren't, you know up to par in my opinion so i go back out to the car again <laughs> and i'm just looking through amazon stuff and i'm trying to message you know amazon doesn't have a phone number so i'm trying to send all these different alerts and emails and stuff to get a representative you know on my phone to just kind of figure out and get to the bottom of it and so um i just went back in one more time just to ask you know ask questions like so do you think maybe if you type in the order number, you know, you can maybe find something? He's like, we don't have, I, I don't have your time. I don't have, you know, anything. He just was just rude, basically. So I was like, I didn't really have time to focus on his rudeness. So I was like, let me just go figure out where my tires are, number one, and then what is going on. You know what I mean? Because I spent, I mean, it wasn't a lot of money, but it's still money spent, you know? So I go across the street and I just park in this like random parking lot and, um, I finally get a representative who actually agreed to call me. And so we're going through everything, and he's basically just saying, like, just file a claim. And because that's what the manager said, too. I forgot that part. He was like, You need to file a claim with Amazon. They don't send you some tires. Like, they have us all the time. Blah, blah, blah. You know, he, like, it was just nothing. I'm like, Oh, okay. But again, I'm going out of town, so I needed the service, not just about, you know what I mean? So I'm talking to the representative. He's telling me the same information. Yeah, I'm showing that it's. You know, it's, it was delivered and it was signed by, you know, let me call FedEx really quick one second. And he calls FedEx and he talks to them and they're like, yeah, you know, so-and-so delivered him and, you know, we, we're good on our side too. So then I asked them a question because I thought about Karen and, you know, what she was talking about. I said, is it normal for FedEx to, you know, deliver Amazon products because you guys have your own trucks and, you know, planes and all this stuff. He said, yeah, when it's, it's something like tires or something kind of big, yeah, we do sometimes use FedEx to use, our, you know, to ship whatever. And then it kind of depends on the sender, too. You know what I mean? So, um, because, you know, even though I found Simply Tire on Amazon.com, they were still a third-party, you know, vendor. So, um, I get out the phone with him, and he was like, when Nicole, uh, well, before I got the phone, he was like, you know, I'm going to open up, open up a claim. I have a claim with FedEx, and I have a claim with, with Amazon. We're going to get to the bottom of what's going on with the tires. I think it was like a holiday or something. But he was like, let's just touch base on um, Tuesday to give, you know, Simply Tire a, a time to, you know, a chance to respond. And then maybe your tires will show up by then. So I was like, okay. So I'm just in the parking lot just so discouraged and just confused still. Like, who loses four huge tires, you know? How do you misplace that? So... I'm driving off. I was about to just go home, and I call my mom, and I tell her, and she was with um, my my uh, aunt and my grandmother, and all of them were just like, mm, that sounds kind of fishy. You should maybe call the police and just file a report so that it's, you know, that you just file a report because I, we think somebody stole your tires. So I'm like, all right. I tell her all the information, and, you know, the game plan was to go back and call the police to file a report and just kind of, you know, not to get anyone in trouble, but just to let them know what's going on. So that um, basically just basically um, there was theft. So that was the, the that would have been the police report. So I'm giving her all the facts and she was like, wait a minute, that don't sound right. I think your tires are there too or whatever. So now we're on this mission. So she was like, well, before we involve the police, because you know what was going on this past summer and last year with, you know, all the police killing, well, the police killing people and whatever, whatever. She was like, let's just go back up there and just talk to them. Maybe they can show us the surveillance cameras or maybe, you know, whatever. I'm like, okay, that's cool. So we go back up there and I let her do all the talking because at this point I'm just kind of just still, I'm irritated, I'm frustrated. I'm just like, I planned this thing out so meticulously and, and for it to just kind of be falling, falling apart like this, I was just annoyed. 
So she's talking to the young, same dude is there, whatever. The, now it's only one guy in the waiting room. And um, he's like, like I told her, you know, your tires are not here. You know, her tires are not here. And, you know, we didn't have anything and this, this, and that. Whatever. And she was like, so you don't have any, like, surveillance cameras? And, you know, like, you guys literally had someone sign. So she's kind of, like, questioning and, you know, pushing him a little harder. And, you know, he's starting to get, like, super aggravated and low-key disrespectful, high-key disrespectful, you know what I mean? So the two of them start kind of like going back and forth or whatever, and then he just walks away. <laughs> he just walks away from us, because at this point, I'm asking questions, and she's asking questions, and he's just, you know, being just rude and snappy, and just, at this point, he's graduated from rudeness to just pure disrespect. And so my sister, of course, she's kind of trying to, you know, she's meeting him at that same level of disrespect as far as like, we are customers and you are yelling and cursing at us and doing all this stuff or whatever. And we're just here to see what happened to, you know, the tires. It's, you know, this is a service is, you know, whatever, whatever. So he just walks away from her and she's like, where are you going? And so I was just like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and call the police. So I told her I'm going to step outside and call the police. So I go outside and I'm calling 911. And then, um, <laughs> and then the police officer picks up and I'm like, oh, she emerged. I was like, hi, I want to report a theft. So all of a sudden the supervisor, the manager, whatever, you know, black guy, he comes out, he has a tire in his hand. Look, look, ma'am. See, this is an example of what our Amazon orders look like. Y'all, tell me why did I look down on the tire and see biggest day, my order number? The same order number. I kept trying to push in this dude's face. Simply tire. Da, 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 you know what I mean? So. Oh, but you didn't say simply tire. You didn't say the order number. But you. And when I tell you every part of me, I was so frustrated and just irritated and just annoyed. Like I had been there three hours. I got there at 10 a.m. And it was now almost three o'clock. So it was more than 10 hours. Almost three o'clock. That's how long I had been there trying to figure this stuff out. And the whole time the dude was just trying to steal my tires and probably sell them back to me. Because that was something else he tried to do was say, offer, you know, um, the tires and, and he's, you know, throwing the, you know, throwing the tires at, at us, at me, throwing them at my car, yelling, cussing us out, tried to step up to me, like trying to like ass assault me, punch me, whatever he was going to do. And I'm just like, and it was just really, really, really ugly. A really ugly situation. I just, I just want to know where is the black excellence? Of course, I know Simply Tire is, not Simply Tire. This place that I went to is somewhat of a franchise because there were other locations. And I know this isn't this black guy's thing, but if you're a manager there, you, you, you're in charge. You know what I mean? Like have some type of respect for yourself respect for your word for what you do why are you trying to scam people through amazon because you already he already knew to play that's why he was rushing me out of there that's why he didn't even acknowledge my tires he was just more focused on i don't have you in the system and he did he did have me in the system so then once we you know figure everything out or whatever the last question my sister just asked him before we left after he was so rudely and threw all the tires at me in the car she said now i just have one thing to say who is C. Wilson again? So, because you get it, because, you know, he said he didn't, it's only two people that signed for stuff, and if, you know, he didn't know nobody named C. Wilson, but now he has the tires that we, you know, he said he didn't have, but it, clearly he signed for them, but he's trying to, you know, get it. Anyway, black excellence, black people, you know, if it's your own business, if you're working for somebody, just have more class and honesty and integrity in what you do because I cannot believe that this happened to me since being back in St. Louis. The most ridiculous, donkey, crazy, just, just crazy things have happened since I've been here and it's just like, wow, wow. Just wow, it's just so discouraging and, and just, not even discouraging, but like disappointing to see, you know, cause again, I'm coming from California um, and even in Nashville, like I'm used to being around people that are go-getters and entrepreneurs and dreamers and you know what I mean? And then you just get back here and everybody is trying to run a scam or trying to get over or trying to, and it's like, dude, you, you already have a paycheck. You're a manager. So you're getting a paycheck. Wait, why are you trying to steal people's tires too? But yeah, 
so I've notified Amazon and uh, Gilbert, that was my little my little helper's name, and I let them know that you know the guy was basically trying to run a scam. It's probably something that he does with customers because he had it down to a science, and I was literally falling for it. If I wouldn't have called my aunt and my mom, I would have just been like, I probably still wouldn't have tires. <laughs> um, so what I ended up doing is I. Uh, because I didn't trust the guy because he was so the way he was throwing the tires and just you know coming bringing out one at a time I just didn't trust what he could have done to him so I sent those tires back because I know if you put holes in them whatever. I sent those tires back and I ordered a different set from Simply Tire and I had them delivered directly to you know my grandmother's house and um got them installed they're doing just great or whatever but so I don't have any beef with Amazon but I did let Amazon know just, I just told Amazon to be aware that this company is doing this so you may not want to list them as a vendor that you're in relationship with you know what I mean or even letting simply tire know hey these people are like running running a hustle so FYI but yeah that's all for today's story time um, I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned from it just beware I uh, can't even say if it's anything different that I've done because I did my homework I just didn't expect that dude would try to, a manager of all things, would try to <laughs> steal my tires. It's crazy. Anyway, have a great day. And remember, make yourself out in the world. Catch on.